I'm Brayden Duncan and I am Clockwork Art and I'm based out of Seattle in Chicago for the weekend. You guys have got to subscribe to Raise Chaos. <laughs> and welcome back everybody. My name is Raise Chaos. You have made it back to my channel and I am so happy to see you back because it is now August. It is a brand new month and uh, that means we get another pin board video. Whoa, I know you're all excited. <laughs> Can't you see it? Can't you see the crowds? <laughs> Very excited. Okay, so I am a little disappointed in this because as some of you know, um, I was supposed to go to the Oddities Curiosities Convention and was sidelined by COVID and wasn't about to go and give all the other oddities uh, COVID as well. So I missed out. And uh, part of the reason why I'm disappointed is because one of my people, uh, one of my favorite vendors, uh, who is Clockwork Art, uh, tends to set up there. And yeah, I just saw it at C2E2, but um, essentially, uh, I know what she does and I follow her website, which um, obviously is posted down below if you want to take a look. Um, uh, and obviously she, she did the intro for this, of course. Um, but, uh, uh, I really enjoy her stuff and I check out her website, um, because, you know, sometimes I like her stuff and I love buying from her. I love buying from her in person. Um, and not, so even though I saw her on C2E2, uh, I had already looked at her site and saw some of the some of the other stuff that she's got, and I already kind of had a little list of stuff that I was gonna get the next time I saw her. And huh, yeah, well, she lives in uh, way over there on the uh, west coast in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, while well, she pretty much hits conventions constantly, um, yeah, she only comes to my area. Uh, a few times a year. So this means I'm going to have to order some of the stuff that I was thinking about and uh, about thinking about getting. And, uh, yeah, it's just disappointing because I do enjoy, uh, uh, set, uh, uh, purchasing stuff off of her in person. Um, as I do any of my friends and, uh, it's actually a joke cause it, well, there is a joke going. Um, because she has actually been mentioning that uh, uh, she is curious as to she when I'm at the convention I'm pushing her stuff there too. It's not just online. Every you know if I like somebody's artwork I'm going to be pointing them out. So everybody I know at the convention is going to find out that there's this clockwork art art person. And since you know, as far as guests go, not the same, the same people don't always come. So when I bring somebody new, I'm like, Hey, and since I, I get, get gifts for gifts for people through her, her, uh, booth and that kind of stuff. So, um, I really get her name out there outside of even just, uh, doing the, you know, pushing her on YouTube. Um, and uh, we've actually discussed, like, she's not sure. Uh, she knows that people have come to purchase stuff off of her from her website because I have, you know, basically pimped her name out elsewhere. And, but she's like, she has no, we have no way of tracking how many people. So um, if you actually do go to Clockwork Orch Art, um, and if you go is one thing, but when you go and you buy something from her because you're you're going to find something because she's awesome and you know if if you especially if you like cats if you like cats there's no way you're going to leave that thing without buying something and uh that's kind of how i was able to just showing off her business card i was able to get somebody to be like oh i know exactly who i'm going to get something for um but if you do just in any any kind of note area just happen to mention that you uh, you heard about uh, her stuff through 
uh, Raise Chaos's YouTube channel or just from Raise Chaos, she'll know who you're talking about. Um, because, I mean, you know, it's one of those people that we, we smile from a distance. We see each other coming. We're like, yeah. Um, so yeah, I would have loved to have had a new, uh, clockwork, clockwork orange, clockwork orange, clockwork art pin to put on the board here. Um, I already have the Pennywise and I have the Krampus. Is that the only two I have up there right now? Um, that looks like it. Um, but that, I mean, I already know I've bought some of her artwork before and, uh, I already know, uh, some of the pins that I'm going to get based on that artwork. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's one of the people that, you know, I kind of push, uh, I love to show off. I love to, you know, tell people about her because she's so much fun. Um, so I wasn't able to do that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put this guy away and then we're going to get into the pins. So yeah, had to give her a shout out anyway, because just because, you know, I wanted to show off one of her pins and I couldn't. Um, but I did get, I do have a pin that I did get from, uh, the, uh, oddities and curiosities convention last year. And had I gone this year and saw this person, I would have attempted to get her to do an intro for me so I could pimp her stuff. Um, but her name, and I'm going to pimp her stuff right now because it's so cool because her name is Misty Bondi and, uh, uh, she's got an Instagram here. So I will put that down in the description box below. But like literally when I was looking through her stuff, um, this one caught me dead cold. Um, and it's the mask from, uh, Halloween. It's the, uh, the little Michael Myers when he's dressed up as a clown um, uh, and he kills his sister and it's got blood splatter on the side here. It's reflective and everything, but what really got me and I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up even in the close up, but uh, the nose actually has the uh, has the uh, Halloween um, jack-o'-lantern face going on in there. So it's like kind of it's kind of got a glittery look to it, and I mean, it was just it was jaw dropping. Like I saw it, and I was just like, "Yes!" And uh, then you know, I bought it. She mentioned there was a couple other things there. Um, I think I may, I think I got the same thing as a sticker, and I may have like passed it on to somebody already. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. This one had me dead cold and like, I was so flabbergasted. If I hadn't been on a mission to get some other things there, then and there, I would have uh, definitely uh, hit her up for an intro so I could pimp her stuff on a regular basis. But this was definitely the crown. Uh, I don't want to say it was the crown purchase of that because I was actually getting something for somebody else. Uh, I was getting a Christmas present for somebody and that kind of took the fake, uh, the cake for that. And I'm getting a look. I just pulled this off of the thing. I never have before. And I'm seeing a 45 out of 50. So I'm wondering if this isn't a very limited pin. And, uh, if so, that's really awesome. But I mean, I have to go to her Instagram page and, uh, check out, see what else she's got because I haven't really looked at that since then, um, but I think we're going to go ahead and slip this up next to uh, the, uh, I think I'll put it right up in here, because this, this is a pretty good spot for it. <clears throat> put it right up there next to the Mankind Mask, because that kind of makes sense in my weird, demented head. Um <laughs> Of course, of course it does, but, uh, that's it. Misty Bondi. And again, I'm going to put her, uh, Instagram page in the description below. Uh, it'll be down there with the clockwork art. Um, cause yeah, I just had to mention her again. <laughs> okay. I'll stop. Um, but next up we've got, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this cause it's faced up. This is another fig pin and this is spider woman. And this is probably the fig pin that got me to actually buy a fig pin. 
Um, I mean, I bought some for uh, other people that I knew would appreciate them, but uh, I never really bought one for myself. Um, but this one is an entertainment exclusive, uh, or enter entertainment earth exclusive, and uh, just something about it. This is like the top corner of the comic book when it was originally happening. And uh, it just, I mean, it just jumped out at me. So this one was the first one that broke the seal for me to actually get more of uh, the fig pins, which, yeah, obviously I've done that. So, <laughs> so that's really cool. This is, and again, this was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. So if you want to get one of those, I don't know how, how limited they were, but if if you want one, that's the place to look for it. So... We've got so many over here, I think I'm going to go ahead and stick her over here and catch that little arch right where the coffin turns. And uh, yeah, it's shaping up pretty pretty well. Um, it's pretty cool doing these five at a time and just really kind of popping them out. And uh, yeah, I had some two really great pins so far. Uh, but uh, what else did I get? Um, I got this one, which I kind of grabbed these out of the old stack of stuff that I've been collecting, and this is the actual Batman pin from the uh, Batgirl, Robin pins that I got. There was a three-pack. It was Batman, Batgirl, and Robin, and uh, yeah, finally brought the ba the big guy out, because... <laughs> uh, yeah, I've talked about this before, and <laughs> I already had plenty of Batman pins to show off, so I wasn't in a big hurry to show this one off. But this is cool. This is just a symbol and everything. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put this guy right up in here under some of the these things, because this is how he fits. And so, yeah, instead of keeping some themes, I'm just trying to make them fit where they'll fit <laughs> so that's number three down and we've got i'm gonna save the i can't say i'm gonna save the best for last but because i did the best first um but i of the what i've got left i've got the uh wwe survivor series pin um that goes along with which one was the other one that i got uh SummerSlam, and uh this is another WWE pin, and I'm really not, I don't really don't care one way or another about it, to be perfectly honest. Um, Survivor Series isn't one that I uh, am excited about seeing. I mean, I'll watch it if I can, but like, you know, I've never made a, a concerted effort to catch that particular show. Um, I'd say that of all the the big WD, WWE pay-per-views that uh, they put out. Um, WrestleMania would be probably my second most likely check to check out, and the number one would be the Royal Rumble because it's the Royal Rumble. Um, and yeah, as far as the rest of them go, well, you can take them or leave them. I don't really, I don't really have like a super. Oh, it's this specific one. Um, no. Uh, Outside of WrestleMania and, and Royal Rumble, like the rest of them are just kind of, okay, that's the that's the pay-per-view that's happening. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put him down in here, um, probably at an angle under the Harley, because, you know, like I said before, I may end up moving some of these, um, depending on how it shapes up, but... Uh, for now, that's a good spot for it. <laughs> but now we get to the big one. The big one, the really exciting one. The one I absolutely love. And if you've watched my channel, you'll understand why. And you'll to completely understand this. Because I actually did wear it on in some of my video, earlier videos. But it's the... <laughs> it is the balloon of I Love Dairy. Obviously from... Stephen King's The It, and uh, I I get so many Pennywise pins that I'm really not sure where I got this one in particular. Um, I know I got that one at the Horror House, um, 
And that one, of course, is, <laughs> I'm going to mention her again, Clockwork Art. Um, and then, <laughs> and not sponsored, but she would like to know how many people uh, find out about her through my, my channels and me talking about her all the time. Um, and uh, then there's this one. I know I have more, so, but I'm not 100% positive where this particular one came from. So... We're gonna go ahead and pop this guy out here and uh, get him right up in there. Boom. And he sticks pretty solid, he stays pretty solid. So there we've got it. We've got the, we've got the, <laughs> we've got the Michael Myers, uh, the, the, the baby Michael Myers mask. We've got the Batman pin. We've got the Survivor Series pin, the, I love dairy, and then we've got the Spider Woman pin. So, bam, that's another five down. That's another, that's a great little selection for August. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to have more pins. I actually do, I did actually get more pins. I just didn't get them from the uh, from the, uh, the oddities convention. So I do have more pins. So these will continue <laughs> because I still have to give get through the uh, the ones I already have, plus the new ones that I get. And uh, yeah, I still have just like one piece on the possible trade uh, board because yeah, I am just, I'm really picky about, about them. So I don't get a lot of pins that I'm just gonna turn around and be like, yeah, yeah, I don't really care about this one. Um, but at any rate, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a like on this video if you have enjoyed it and uh, leave me a message in the comments below to let me know which of the five that I, that I presented this last, this last video, <laughs> which one's your favorite of the ones that I pulled out. And uh, uh, once again, I am going to put out Misty Bondi's uh, information in the description box below, right next to the clockwork art. And uh, hope to be, see you back very soon. Subscribe to the channel if you've liked this. This is a monthly thing that I do where I show off my pins. And uh, I will be doing this uh, once a month until I get all of my pins put up onto the thing. And then after that, it'll be pretty much like when I gather another five pins in general. Which, uh, five pins or more, I guess you, you could say. Um, and uh yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be it for this this uh <laughs> this week this month this video <laughs> as far as pin videos um so i look forward to seeing you back and never forget the life is full of odd moments you never know when you're gonna be defined